Hello. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I was sick this past week, but I'm doing okay now. But anyways, today I'm going to be showing you how to customize your desktop, but I guess I'm going to be doing this in parts. You know, like, one section will be about, you know, uh, comp is, another one will be about, you know, theming your desktop and whatnot. Um, but today, it's going to be fairly simple. Um, like, when you first install your system, as you can see, it's pretty plain Jane. You know, it's like... Uh, not that's a bad thing. It's actually I kind of like it. It's real easy to use. You know, you know where your places and home folders and pictures and stuff is at. Um, there's two bars. One at the bottom, as you can see, it's like a Windows tray for your, uh, you know, like your minimize programs, and it keeps track of everything on the bottom. And on the top left is your, you know, your accessories and graphics and everything else. And the right is your power and your mail and volume and other stuff. All this is uh, customizable in Linux and Ubuntu, and this desktop I'm using is uh, called GNOME or GNOME or however you pronounce it. And uh, the whole Linux thing, it's the custom the cus <laughs> the customability side of it. I guess that's how I'm saying it right. It's almost endless, basically. You can uh, do anything from your themes to the way it looks to your desktop environment. So. If I don't like this, I can change to KDE or LXDE or XFCE. Different environments do different things, and but I prefer GNOME or GNOME or however the hell you pronounce it. Um, but for starters, if you want to just uh, you know just jump right into it, there's a good program to download, and usually it's called Ubuntu Tweak. But for me, I usually download it once when I first install something like a system like this, and after I'm done with it you know the first time I don't really use it afterwards but it's a good thing to get it's a good way to get things going so we'll start by downloading it just go to ubuntutweak.com and download the dev file right here and it should add the repository on its own so I already have it installed so uh, it'll be in your system tools it'll make this little category so click on this and it may it may want to update so we'll see takes a little bit because I have the screen recorder on alright and with Ubuntu tweak you can, you can add you know like well it's an update well anyways you can add you know extra applications and extra software sources PPAs so it's really good to just get started um, so to, uh, to add them you just unlock it of course give your password yes I know all right, and it's just basically it's warning you if you add third-party software, you could break your system, like dependency issues and whatnot. I already added a bunch of this stuff already, but one thing I do like adding at first is the uh, these little bazai or bazai or whatever themes. It has a bunch of wallpapers and theme and theme engines and icons. You can just click on that and install it. Well, that basically this is adding the PPA. You click on that, then you go to your software center or whatever, and you look for it and install it. Also, I install the uh, the PPA for the uh, elementary, the desktop and the artwork, and and the uh, cover uh, for your album covers and Globus Preview. So you just go through all this and find what you want. But pretty much all the elementary stuff I grab because I really like their their stuff. It looks really nice. And. Uh, as far as uh, customizing your desktop with this, it gives you options to uh, change your window manager settings. So say like, if you don't like the buttons on your left hand side, you can put it on your right hand side by clicking right under window manager settings and then put them on the right or the left or you can just customize it whichever way you want. So it's a quick and easy way just to get things going, you know. And let's see, there's a couple things I also like to do. The GNOME settings, this will add the, uh, your missing icons right here. There's supposed to be icons here, but they're not there. So we'll click on both of these, and they're there. And also, the Natalis settings. I like adding these right here, the open, in term the open folder and terminal you know open folder and root privileges and Natalis wallpaper basically if you uh, 
that one's really good. I don't know why Ubuntu doesn't have this by default. Say if you have like a JPEG or a ping image you want to put as your wallpaper, just right click on it and it'll say uh, set as what wallpaper or background or whatever. Um, that's what that does. And this does other things I'll go over go over later on. And your security section, I always click on this right here. So unlock this and click on that. And when you uh, open a folder as root, it usually has a, an ugly theme, like the windows don't match. So uh, that fixes the problem. All right. So uh, I'm gonna be going over some more stuff later, but this is like basically just like a starter. Uh, try out Ubuntu Ubuntu tweak. See if you like it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And the next videos are gonna be more involving, I guess. I'm gonna be going over uh, using a Carl Doc, how to set that up, and that's a pain. But once you get it up and going, it's really really nice. And uh, I'm gonna be showing how to set transparency in your in your. Uh, well, I'm gonna go over a few ways to do this. Put transparency in your panel. There's a little hack you can do, and there's another way with Compiz you can do it as well and some other things so uh, stay tuned thanks